Heron's formula. In this module, you will learn about topic Heron's formula. We have come across different shapes like squares, rectangles, triangles and quadrilaterals. We have also seen how to calculate the area and perimeter of these shapes. For calculating the area of triangle, we use area of triangle is equal to half multiplied by base multiplied by height. Now let's see an example. For a right angle triangle, PQR, the sides are 10 cm, 20 cm and 26 cm. Calculate the area of triangle. We will take 10 cm as base and 20 cm as height. So, area of triangle PQR is equal to half into base into height is equal to half into 10 into 20 cm square is equal to 100 cm square. Next, we will calculate the area of an equilateral triangle. Given triangle ABC, M is the midpoint, sides have 12 cm. Find the area of triangle ABC. As we can see here, we have to find the height. So, in equilateral triangle, it is possible by using Pythagoras theorem. AB square is equal to AM square plus BM square. So, 12 square is equal to AM square plus 6 square as BM is equal to MC. Now, 144 is equal to AM square plus 36. AM square equal to 144 minus 36. Hence, AM is equal to square root of 108 centimeters. Equals to 6 into square root of 3 centimeters. Now, area of triangle ABC is equal to half multiplied by base multiplied by height equal to half into 12 into 6 square root of 3 equals to 36 into square root of 3 centimeter square. Now, we will see how to calculate the area of isosceles triangle. We use same formula of Pythagoras theorem. Let us see an example. In triangle PQR, given PQ is equal to 6 cm, QR is equal to 10 cm. Find the area of triangle. We know in isosceles, two sides are always equal. So, PQ is equal to PR equal to 6 cm. M is the midpoint. Therefore, QM is equal to 5 cm as QM is half of QR. By using Pythagoras theorem, we get PQ square is equal to PM square plus QM square. So, 6 square is equal to PM square plus 5 square. Therefore, PM square is equal to 36 minus 25 equals to 11 centimeter square. Hence, PM is equal to square root 11 centimeter. Now, area of triangle PQR is equal to half into QR into PM is equal to half into 10 into square root 11 is equal to 5 square root of 11 centimeter square. Now, if we have a scalene triangle with all sides different, can we find its area using Pythagoras theorem and formula used above? No, as height cannot be found out right? So, to calculate area for such triangle, we need a new formula. Let us learn this new formula called as Heron's formula in next slide. Heron was a Greek mathematician and engineer from his native place Alexandria, Roman Egypt. He was also known as Hero of Alexandria. He was born in 10 AD. His famous invention was windmill. He also worked in applied mathematics. His works on mathematical and physical subjects are so numerous and varied that he is considered to be encyclopedic writer. He has derived the famous formula for the area of a triangle in terms of three sides. As area of triangle equals to 
square root of s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c, where a, b and c are the sides of the triangle and s equals to semi-perimeter, that is half of perimeter of triangle, equal to a plus b plus c divided by 2. This formula of area of the triangle is also known as Heron's formula. Now we will see an example for scalene triangle. We all know that it has all different lengths of side and no height and we cannot use the Pythagoras formula. So let us use Heron's formula. Suppose length of the scalene triangles are given as 30 meter, 14 meter and 22 meter. Let's find the area of triangle. Step 1. Find the semi-perimeter S. Now S is equal to A plus B plus C divide by 2 is equal to 30 plus 14 plus 22 divide by 2 is equal to 66 divide by 2 is equal to 33 meter. Step 2. Calculate S minus A equals to 33 minus 30 equal to 3 meter. S minus B equal to 33 minus 14 equal to 19 meter. S minus C equal to 33 minus 22 equal to 11 meter. Therefore, area of the triangle is equal to square root of 33 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 19 multiplied by 11 equal to square root of 20,691 equal to 33 into square root of 19 meter square. Now let us use Heron's formula in our earlier sums of equilateral with side 12 cm and isosceles triangle with equal sides 6 cm and unequal side as 10 cm. For equilateral triangle, we have S is equal to 12 plus 12 plus 12 divide by 2. We get 18 cm. Now calculating area of triangle by using the formula, we get square root 18 into 3 times 6 as sides are equal. We get 36 into square root of 3 cm square. For scalene triangle, we have S is equal to 6 plus 6 plus 10 divide by 2. We get 11 cm. Now area of triangle is equal to square root of 11 into 11 minus 6 into 11 minus 6 into 11 minus 10 equals to square root of 11 into 5 into 5 into 1 equals to square root of 275. We get 5 into square root of 11 centimeter square. Let us solve some more examples. Find the area of a triangle, two sides of which are 10 cm and 13 cm and the perimeter is 32 cm. Solution We have perimeter of triangle is equal to 32 cm, A is equal to 10 cm and B 13 cm. Therefore, C is equal to 32 cm minus 10 plus 13 cm equal to 32 minus 23 equal to 9 cm. Also, 2S is equal to 32 cm. So, S is equal to 16 cm. The area of triangle equals to square root of 16 into 6 into 3 into 7 equals to 12 root 14 cm square. A traffic signal board indicating school is an equilateral triangle with side A. Find the area of the signal board using Heron's formula. If its perimeter is 180 cm, what will be the area of the signal board? Solution. Here all sides are equal. That is A is equal to B equal to C is equal to A cm. Step 1. S is equal to A plus B plus C divide by 2 equal to A plus A plus A divide by 2. We get 3A divided by 2. We have given perimeter equal to 
180 cm. Therefore, semi perimeter that is S is equal to 180 cm divided by 2. S is equal to 90 cm. We can also find the value of A as S is equal to 3A divided by 2. 90 equals to 3A divided by 2. So 180 equals to 3A. So A equals to 180 divided by 3. Therefore, A is equal to 60 cm. Now, substitute the value in formula. We get, so the area of triangle is equal to square root of 90 into 30 into 30 into 30 is equal to 900 into square root of 3 cm square. Let us revise all that we learnt in this module on Heron's formula.